Now a downtown bar is back in business after a deadly shooting last month, but that bar will never be the same. Brownstone Social Lounge was the scene of a triple shooting that left the 31 year old woman dead. Tonight is a chance for that bar to start a new chapter. Mary Jo Ola is there live. Mary Jo. Steve, it's been an emotional journey towards this reopening at Brownstone Social Lounge. And they're marking this occasion with a DJ, but the team here, which considers itself more of a family, is still working toward healing. We do have some video to show you shortly after those doors open today. Brownstone also requested that people today wear blue for this grand reopening in honor of Crystal Tucker. It was her favorite color, and you can't miss it in their remodeling here. Another change is the age requirement. You now have to be at least 30 years old to enter the lounge at any time. Plus, the lounge will not operate at full capacity moving forward. Now, it's been just over a month since staff said a man who was turned away at the door because he wasn't old enough shot three people, killing Crystal Tucker. We talked with owner Corey Smith earlier today, who says this is a bittersweet time. I didn't know if I would reopen. Um, again, it was, it was the staff, it was her family um, that said this is not what Crystal would want. Crystal absolutely loved Brownstone. The owner said he put up $10,000 to Crime Stoppers to help find the suspect who's been identified as Jordan Tate. Court records show that Tate has obtained an attorney, but he has not yet been detained. Reporting live in downtown Milwaukee, Mary Joel, TMJ4 News.